Hello everybody, C3 Vengeance here, and I'm going to tell you why you should get the easy cap, and I'm going to also give you a tutorial on how you can use it. Now you're probably saying to yourself, Vengeance, I don't have any money, you mother This is stupid. Now, why do you want to get the easy cap? It's because, one, it's really cheap if you're on a budget, a really, really low budget like I was. Two, it gets you from point A to point B, um, and three it's mm, it's okay quality depending on what you have now I'm gonna show you how you can get some good quality out of your easy cap with this tutorial and where to get it okay guys um, I'm gonna show you where you can get the easy cap I got mine at Amazon you can also get it at eBay um, they're around you know really cheap they're not really 40 bucks trust me um, they're like seven less than ten dollars buy it at Amazon or eBay they're really great uh, it should come with just this. It should also come with a disc that has the program that you need, which is down here. But if you don't have the disc, um, I will put in the download link description where you can get it for free. Now, when you want to get an easy cap, make sure you get DC60 or DC60 Plus. I prefer this one because this is way better in quality. But you know, since I'm poor and I can't, you know, get the extra money, I just go with the DC60. Make sure you get one of those two. Don't get anything lower than that. If not, you're going to get black and white um, video quality, which is kind of stupid. Now, for this right here, this is what you guys all want, the whole recording program. My easy cap is plugged in, but you can't see anything, of course. And what I use for my format is DVD because um, I can record three hours of film, and it'll just be one gig's worth of film. If you use MPEG or anything else, it'll be way more. So use DVD. Um, your your screen resolution might look crappy, but I'll show you how to fix that right now. So you go to input source, and here it should say video and composite. If you have S video, which is this little black thing right here, use this. Really, 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 really use this because it makes your video quality so much better. I'm sorry, I hit my microphone there. Uh, TV system NTSC because I'm from America. PAL if you're from the UK, and SACOM if you're from Australia. Um, I sometimes use Sacom because it gives me better quality, which is weird, but then again, I have to fix the coloring because the coloring um, goes down a little bit. Now for your audio device, use, mine says USB audio device. Use USB audio device, so that's your easy cap. Um, I don't use this, I use Line In because um, I plug in uh, the red and yellow, not the red and yellow, the red and white, the left and right audio into my computer and that gives it um, actual sound instead of from the easy cap. Always preview audio with this device. Always, always do that. If not, you're not going to get any sound in your videos. Click OK. Now what you want to do is go to uh, Capture Properties, Capture Filter. You know, you can change all this stuff. Capture Filter. Um, there's Video Standards. Um, if you want to copy mine, that would be fine. Pause the video if you need to. Capture Pin. Uh, for Capture Pin, um, an output size, make it 720 by 480 and hit apply. Okay. Now, video crossbar, I don't think that's really important. Don't change anything here. Your stuff might be a little bit different. Might, if you're using S video, but that's fine. Now, you go to your mm, audio capture filter. Don't move any of this. This is all fine. Now when you go to MPEG settings, or it should be something for you, if you get this box, on DVD, please go down to NTSC and hit 720. If, if you're on PAL, hit that one. Um, on the default aspect ratio, please hit 16 by 9. And variable bit rate, um, you can keep it as that and you hit OK. And then you should see a massive change in your quality. You hit OK, and you're ready to record. Now, when you do that, sometimes this, this thing might check off. This might check off, so you hit OK. And every time you record your video, it should end up in here. And if you want to record another session, please go back to Input Source. You might have to do this from time to time. And click this again, Preview Audio, because it always unchecks itself for some reason. And there you go. You're good to go with the recording. If you have S-Video, that's great. If you have the composite, that's fine as well. No need to worry. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope my tutorial helps. Um, if you need any more help, oh, uh, contact me. Leave a comment below. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you all later.
Peace.